the black country. No wedding. Day where we start to unwind for the weekend and you know what happens during weekends weddings weddings happen during weekends and this is the wedding season I'm sure a lot of you out there have received invitations for friends and family members wedding uh, coming up before the end of the year uh, you know weddings are a great time to catch up with friends and families that you haven't met in a long while indulge in some very yummy food and some, to some Weddings are the best place to meet new friends and even potential partners. So, if there is a possibility of you meeting the man of your dreams at a wedding, isn't it important for you to dress up? How is it considered appropriate to attend a wedding? And uh, we find out today on Bella Unwind. Bella Unwind starts now. Okay. Welcome on the show, ladies. First of all, um, have you all attended weddings this year? I'm sure yes. you've attended some weddings this year, just right? Just like we're not last Saturday. Last Saturday you yeah. went for a wedding. Yeah. How about you, Alice? Have you attended any weddings this, this uh, year? Actually, it's a very tricky question for me because okay. uh, as a makeup stylist, um, I always do go to uh, attend weddings like uh, on a very frequent basis. I'm basically there for work instead of being a guest. I see. Okay. <laughs> all right. But in general, what do you think the style is at weddings nowadays? I think it's pretty good. I think uh, there's an awareness of uh, dressing up for weddings. It's, I think it's like, uh, yeah. nowadays. I think nowadays people <coughs> tend to give more effort to their whole look mm -hmm. instead of just we Malay, we usually wear baju kurung mm -hmm. already. But right now they are looking for more. Like they want to look more glamorous, more exclusive. Different type of. Uh, yeah, the, the, they, they the try to be seen as you see. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I think wedding is a is a is an occasion for the ladies to dress up. Yeah. Like one of my friends just posted on the Facebook. I, I don't I don't post my selfie. This is one the and the only time I dress up and post it because I'm going to attend a wedding yes, and yes. she feels so great. I think yeah. it's it's also one of the uh, like you know for for women who are not in our industry where we have to put on makeup and dress up every day, it's also a chance for them to dress up, to put on makeup and to look their best. To be there. So first for me, dress code is the first thing to consider yeah. before the style. Okay. If you're going for a daytime event, definitely your dressing is uh, will be different from the nighttime event. Mm -hmm. Okay. In any not for let's say for also not say Messi dress is acceptable. Yeah. Chong some other mini chong some also acceptable. No problem at all. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Because chong some can be quite tight fitting. Right? Yeah, yeah. The body again one. But also acceptable. If you are not overdressed. But perhaps when you get to the venue, <laughs> and then suddenly you feel like, wow, um, everyone's so casual. How 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 do you attempt to you know change that around, Alice? I think very importantly, you have to be confident in yourself. Even yeah, though yeah. Uh, probably um, maybe you you forget to to check out the the dress code mm -hmm. or you know you maybe you just overdo. Yeah. But just be confident with yourself. That it doesn't matter whether you dress too well. <laughs> As long as you feel comfortable and confident in yes. yourself, okay? <laughs> Alright, how about you, Inani? What are some of the tips that you can give to everyone out there on how to dress appropriately for weddings? Uh, for me, I believe less is more. Okay. Uh, so, I try uh, to wear what I'm comfortable and looking good. And uh, another important tip is camera ready. Sadness or... Mm -hmm. Yeah, morning, sort of. But nowadays we have a lot of black, nice, classy, yes. elegant black dresses. Yeah. So, it is specified that you can wear 
Okay. All right. We have more with these later uh, ladies later on, but we're gonna go for a short break right now. Coming back, Alice will be giving us a little bit of tips on how we can make up for a wedding. Tell me what is it and what? All of this comes will help you to plan the dream wedding you deserve. Don't stress too much if I So that is why it is so important for us as wedding guests to look mm -hmm. our best mm -hmm. to a wedding as well. It's a sign of respect mm -hmm. to the planners who've done so, you know, so. Porter and are being made up by Alice, our makeup stylist, for a uh, wedding later on. No, well, today's the <laughs> day that there are no weddings, but a mock wedding later on, right? So, uh, Alice, tell us what... has Sophia's face mm -hmm. for the makeup. So the first thing I did is to put on the primer okay. to protect the skin mm -hmm. uh, from the makeup. Mm -hmm. So the next next step after the primer is to put on the uh, foundation and also to conceal okay. to hide the dark circles. Or <laughs> Tutorials on YouTube, yeah, that's the best. So how about you, Suzai? What is your go-to makeup when you go for weddings? Honestly, I just have one kind of makeup <laughs> because I'm not a beauty blogger. Yeah. Uh, how light or how rich the makeup is, it depends on what you're saying. If let's say, like, uh, like you say, if we go for a design company, which is a smart camera, it is it. more natural. If That's under the light, dim light, yellow light, because of the light, we need to have a heavy makeup mm -hmm. so that we show some. And it also goes according to our dress. Yeah. And one quick tip, mm. put more brushes. Put more blushes? Yes, but especially you don't want to at night. Oh, like, ah, under this the green light. Yeah, especially in those like hotels, yes. other like, hotels, yeah. they have very yellow light. Yeah. So with more blusher, it's fine. Yeah, is it? Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. All right, now Alice, let's get back to you. What are you doing to Sophia right now? I see a bit of eyeshadow. <laughs> Yeah. Um, now I'm trying to put on a very natural makeup okay. for Sophia that she can wear for the daytime or the evening time mm -hmm. that uh, carries across all skin colors, whether it's for Chinese or Malay or Indian. Um, what wow. I'm using right now is actually the earth tone, the okay. brown tone. Um, so it's I'm doing this for uh, a makeup that you can do it for yourself. Mm -hmm. So what the, the palette that I got is um, with the three colors. So usually. The best make the best makeup is to mix up with uh, at least three tones of colors. One first one is the lightest one to highlight the brow area, okay. and then the mid tone color for the whole eyelid, mm -hmm. and then the darkest color for the eyelid area. Oh, that sounds simple enough. So the lightest tone is for the eyebrow, and then the mid tones are for the entire lid. Is it? Yes. So you put the mid tones on the entire lid, yes. and then the darkest one on the, the darkest one on the corners or on the lids. Uh, I would actually recommend to put it on the center okay. because this is the technique that applies to all types of eye, eye shape. Okay. Yes. All right. Put it on the center and then blend outwards. Yes. Okay. You know how to blend the colors. Mm -hmm. Okay. So normally brides would go for earth tones as well, right? Yes. So how do we go, you know, how do we do our makeup so, so that we do not outshine the bride or we do not look maybe better than the bride? Actually, I think um, for the, the bride's makeup and the uh, guest makeup, it should be different. The bride has to be junior, that's why we usually choose a very tough tone for brides. And um, actually, you don't have to worry to outshine the bride with overdoing your makeup. Mm. Uh, during her, her wedding, she has all the spotlights on and she has the blessings and she has the happiness that comes with it. So there's no chance for, for the guests to outshine her actually. Alright. So Especially not on our makeup. Uh. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. it's fine. So okay. it's fine to go like dark or yes. uh, shad uh, shadowy makeup and whatnot. Yes. Yeah. And actually, I. Um, I would think that um, the guests could actually experience, uh, I mean, uh, experiment more than the dress. I see. Okay. So colors are actually okay. Splash, I like that. Yeah, that's right. On on normal days, maybe sometimes we don't dare to wear red lipsticks, right? So maybe we can try it during our next wedding uh, reception. Just try on the red lips. Yeah. That's a nice trend. Now let's go talk about accessories now. You know how we're going to do it? I don't know how big it is, but make sure the IC can fit. Okay, then money. Right, so now let's go back to uh, uh, Alice there, who's uh, applying on eyeliner. Is, is that 
Oh, I will like apply the false lashes on Sophia. Oh, okay, that's a new contraption that you're using <laughs> on false lashes. I've yes. never seen that before. Is that a, a new tweezer type for, for uh, yes. lashes? Actually, this is a very useful uh, tool for women because uh, a lot of uh, customers that I met, they always tell me they have problems applying with the uh, yeah. uh, false Fake lashes. lashes yeah. So this is a little tool mm -hmm. that is very easy to use. What you need to is just to put on the lashes, clip it on, and then put on your glue, and then you just attach it wow. on the eyes and it done. I mean, even myself, because I do a lot of my own makeup as well, I still have trouble putting on false lashes. And <laughs> it'll take me a while to get it right. So with this tool, I think, yeah, it looks simple enough. So is it okay to put false lashes for a wedding? Yes, so definitely. Yeah? Because um, the whole look uh, for makeup is actually focusing on the eyes. Mm. So if, especially um, if you want to have a little eyes, mm -hmm. Or sparkly eyes, actually the eyelash will help a lot. And there's a means that uh, a lot of girls think that eyelashes are only for um, heavy makeup, yes. which is to wedding attire. Uh, the, oh, okay, okay. So you're asking. And the original idea of the play was um, to talk about perceptions. Okay. In other words, what you see, what that person sees. It could be the same thing, but you see it differently different and you pick up different clues from the other person. So that... Not lucky? Like do... Already finished the makeup? Already okay. finished? Already, already. Stand by, just yeah. stand by. Excuse me. Hmm? And two. Okay. Me first, is it? Or the first? Yeah. 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 Okay, cool. Hello, Kitty, do you know that? Nice client. <laughs> if you want to explore the world of Hello Kitty even more, what Nine, eight, seven, six, five. Thank you, thank you so much for giving us this award. Yes. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, during the recent undergrad screen, uh, Bella didn't win a best talk show the third time around. But I mean, we were nominated, we were top five, so it wouldn't be fair if we won three years in a row, right? <laughs> but of course, at any awards show, we have celebrities walking the red carpet, and uh, we actually caught up with some celebrities to find out what they wore and who they wore. So let's have a look at this. Version of the Golden Globes. So we go to Sofia first, right? Okay, and then tomorrow. Okay. To receive an award from it will give you pride and honor. But for some, to win the people's and heart is more seconds. crucial and challenging, and somehow more valuable. Jason, show me. The winning an award is you win uh, among the juries, but winning people's hearts, the whole nation, the whole world. That's what an actress really wants. That's right. Congratulations to all the winners of Anugar screen this year. And the next year, Bella will be back with another bag. So look out for us. And we have Sophia here who's uh, all done up uh, by Alice. This is her complete wedding look. And uh, tell us about uh, this look. Is it more about the eyes? Uh, yes, um, the focus is on the eyes. Mm -hmm. And like I said just now, it's a very natural look that uh, you can actually do it yourself like, within 15 minutes. Mm. And everyone can wear this look. Yes, everyone can wear this look. Yeah. You look very beautiful, Sophia. Mm -hmm. And very camera ready, <laughs> according to the Abang yes. cameraman just now. So that's what we want when we go for weddings, right? Yes. Camera, camera readiness. Ready. Okay, thank you so much, Alice, for doing this for us. And thank you so much, Sophia, for being our model and our roving reporter today. Well, that's come 
uh, we've come to the end of our show for today, but tomorrow it is World Diabetes Day and Elaine Daly will be here hosting that show tomorrow. Uh, we'll be talking about how urbanites are more prone to diabetes because of our lifestyle. Stay tuned to that. But if you want to watch today from me, I'm Melinda T. Thank you so much for watching Bella and Wine. Thank you.